we're ready to get started with the show. In the top right corner, spawning in as Rainer, it's Vavin. And in the bottom left, getting Han and Horner, it's Billy Bob. Now, what the heck do I mean today's a unique tournament? Well, everything's going to be best of three. It's 1v1 melee mods. But there are some very special modifiers here today. We're playing on the Co-op Commander versus Mod. It's incredibly cool uh, tournament idea. Sponsored by RNG Pro, my home team, as well as Archangel Gaming. And I could not be more excited to experience these unique games. Vavin is actually playing as the co-op commander Raynor with all his special abilities and powers. Billy Bob playing actually as Han and Mira Horner. Well, I don't think they're... It's, it's Mira Han and Matt Horner. I think Mira marries Matt Horner, if I remember correctly. Anyway, so there are also some special limiting factors to balance the tournament. Uh, we are set to NR three minutes. You cannot attack your opponent for three minutes. You sure can scout, can attack them. No call down abilities from the top bar, which we don't have the top bar. We can't see the actives. Uh, it's just a limitation of our technology. We don't have the technology. Um, in your opponent's natural or main, the rest of the map is free reign. And with that, it looks like we have an Assault Galleon. Now, these Assault Galleons can spawn Reapers for days. Uh, a special note to all you co-op buffs out there. I'm not one of them, but we have Mastery set to 15 and Prestige is off. So, yeah, I, I think mastery points are just like the, um, I don't know what the difference between mastery and prestige is, actually. I think I do, but that's like, like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be wrong, you know what I mean? Like, I, I want to be confident in my, uh, answer. So, I think what Billy Bob is trying to do is angle for an attack. 30 seconds on the clock until our opponents can, or, uh, two opposing sides can engage Um, Marines rallying to the front, Engineering Bay popping in the main, and peace time is over. Will one of our players finally make a move? Looks like Billy Bob has a bunch of Assault Galleons ready to go. Now, Vavin, playing as Rainer, can use Rainer's drop pod ability. So that means he can drop Marines, Marauders, whatever he needs, all over the map pretty much instantaneously. You see those raining down from the sky now. Wherever he sets that rally point is where those Marines spawn in. Missile turret building in the net for Vavin. And we have this uneasy piece. Billy Bob spreading mines around. I mean, these are seeker mines. They'll pop out of the ground, chase anything that comes near them. I guess they're not in the ground. They're floating in the air. But you get the idea. Imagine fighting each other instead of Amon's forces. Like, come on, guys. What, what are we doing here? You're both Terrans. You need to kill the squids. Ooh, it's gonna be a widow mine first from Billy Bob. It burrows, but there's not really any SCVs clumped up. So one and most of an SCV go down. Marines are gonna stem in and clean that up right away. I can't say in, you know, the many thousands of games of StarCraft that I have casted, I've ever seen a building dropping widow mines in the opponent's bases warp prisms or um excuse me medivac sure warp prism harass dropping charge lots things like that absolutely but units being called down right outside your opponent's natural i don't 
Is it gonna shoot? It's just targeting it. Uh, we have a bunch of upgrades coming out from Billy Bob. And we have our standard Terran upgrades coming out from Vavin. You know, your armor plating, your Marauder slow, your building plating, etc. Is this like a disable? I think this is a disable. Well, the Raven just teleported out. This is absolute insanity. I'm so excited. I hope we do more than one of these so like I can actually like grow my knowledge and stuff. I did what I could to study the co-op commanders, but there's just so many of them uh, to prepare for this tournament. I think they're up to like 15 or something. It's insane. So, Billy Bob uh, has taken a kind of hidden third base up here to the left. Now, normally Terran doesn't want to split off their bases like this unless they're going to morph it into a planetary, um, especially in TVT, because you need that nice defensive tank line at the front. You need to uh, be able to slowly creep outwards with your static defense, etc. We have some cloaked rays popping in. They're going to take out a supply depot. These guys shooting missiles all over the place. They take down a barracks as well. For Vavin stims in to chase them away. Vavin doesn't seem to be making uh, the most use of the drop pod ability. Just dropping those marines um, in his main, in his natural. I, I would have liked to seen, have seen like a wave of marines dropped right here. Well, we see that now, but it's kind of not while the Wraith harass was going on. I think had that occurred, we might have seen um, at least the barracks survive, if not the supply depot. Vavin throwing down mass missile turrets. And these guys just do not want to attack each other right now. <clears throat> Their widow mine is burrowed. This time, a group of marines gonna aggro it. Only one of them dies. Um, I think they're super beefy because of Rainer's extra powers. We, of course, have the special unit of Rainer, the medics hitting the field. There's just so much, like, new stuff. I can't even... I can't even, like, express it all. Plus two weapons about to finish for a Rainer player here. Billy Bob seems to have an unending supply of mines. I guess these are going to permanently stay on the map, huh? Yeah, these are here forever. He can just make more of them, I think. Like, more cloaked wraith play, harassing the back of Vavin's main. I, it, the probably the most remarkable thing about this game so far is how passive both our players have been. I mean, of course, Bob, uh, Billy Bob here has been harassing every once in a while, but it's there have been no major plays. There have been no major attacks. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Well... Uh, that was kind of a waste on the Widow Mines. Scouting Marine Vav and got shredded, but uh, I think he saved many of his Oh! Oh! He dropped a freaking spaceship on him! All the Marines are dead! In a nuclear fireball! More Marines dropping in from Vav and finally utilizing that uh, drop pod utility, but rallying them back. I don't think F2 play is going to help Vavin out here. I think he needs to split uh, against Billy Bob. Aggro the mines. Um, it looks like Billy Bob is going a combination of wraiths and mass reapers. Now, these aren't just any reapers. These are Han and Horner reapers. They're souped up. They got spikes on their pauldrons. And they are dropping out of the galleons. Uh, dude, look how freaking cool... 
this armory is. It's got flames shooting out of the top. Fusion core, researching. Upgrades. The raids. Here we go, another engagement in the map. Rainer using all his calldowns. He's brought out the Hyperion, the capital ship of Rainer, but the rays are dealing so much damage and there's no detection left. These Banshees are following the Assault Galleons, meaning they can't exactly drop off any units. One of these fully loaded up, the others just have one unit at a time in them. But uh, they can't actually attack anything because they can't shoot air, and that timer is ever coming closer to expiring. I think the best thing for Vavin would have been to sack those into uh, one of the bases of Billy Bob. At least aggro some of the mines, because these guys are going to be on cooldown for quite a while. More Marines dropping to the front. Billy Bob. A bunch of incredibly buff Vikings. Look at those missile launchers. You've been working out? Okay, so Vavin, in the meantime, uh, is splitting his forces. It looks like a couple box cliffs. One to the left, one to the right, and one straight down. This command center is hugely vulnerable, or is it? As the orbital strike is called down from Han and Horner. A bunch more mines drop to defend, but the CC is lit on fire. Han and Horner play is going to have... Oh! The dodges on the Marines! Those are projectile strikes, not hit scan. Oh my god! They're running through a gauntlet of lasers, but all it took was one missile to take most of them out. This Raven definitely targeting these guys. But here come the landed Vikings from the Heart of the Swarm cinematic. Unfortunately, they're killing fellow humans. So uh, that's not great. Bavin has the superior economy here. He's now on four base. Um, he's going to be able to drop pretty much limitless marines. I'd like to see even more barracks, as ridiculous as that sounds, from our yellow player. Uh, he's going to come in, gun down some SCVs. And the Banshee call down takes out all the Vikings because they're landing on the ground. The CC is going to fall for Billy Bob. Billy Bob seemed to have been taking the better engagement, sir, most of the game with single missiles taking out clouds of Marines. But Vavin has gained the upper hand. He moves out of fifth base and now he's pressing into the natural of Han and Horner. Two more cloaked rays pop out. Vavin needs to drop a scan. Or bring forward a raven there's the scan but he's not fighting the raids he's instead shooting the production buildings that are floating over top launching their own missiles but those missiles do not seem to be very effective against the marines at all some more mines are landed the lasers are popped though and the marines are all of a sudden stuck in the middle of a bullet hell it looks like four of them will survive they're going to attack the dominion starport which does spawn those assault galleons for han and horner more missiles are launched and a call down bombing run from Han and Horner finishes them off. It's going to go back and land at the Strike Fighter platform. Yet another wave of Marines moves in, and it looks like all of those mines have been in exhausted for our blue player, but another freaking spaceship has been dropped on top of them, so only two survive. And a nuclear explosion takes out the Strike Fighter platform. Almost one SCV pulled to repair. It was left with like 20 health. Holy crap. This is exciting. More mines are dropped, but Billy Bob is bleeding out workers 6 to 57. And I think our Rainer player uh, has made it through the bullet hell gameplay of Billy Bob. The Strike Fighter platform goes down. GG. Bob and takes game number one. In the top right corner, spawning in as Nova this time around. It's our yellow Terran with one point on the board, Vavin. And in the bottom left, as our teal Terran, also spawning in as Nova, it's Billy Bob. Okay, you may notice there was a note of surprise in my voice. Well, these guys are random. It can be any of the co-op commanders. They could have spawned in as Minsk, Abathur, Kerrigan, Alarak, we don't know. But these guys 
unbeknownst to them, because they're not scouting for some reason, both grab Nova. Nova is a co-op commander known for very expensive units and very powerful strikes. So, uh, not not quite the hero units of Tychus, but they cost a ton of money. Um, I'm going to try and introduce as many of them as I can with my uh, limited experience as a commander. Um, but basically, it's it's a bunch of basic Terran units um, with things mixed in from the Nova Co Covert Ops campaign. And uh, they're souped-up versions of those units. Like, you, you don't get a Space Marine. You get, like, a Super Space Marine. You know, like, when In Control was describing what Space Marines are on the Pylon show that one time? And he was like, they take out the capital ship of the Protoss! They take drugs and they shoot their guns faster! That's what Nova's Marines do. And we're seeing very similar build orders from both our players. Uh, it looks like a tech lab going on the barracks right away. For a yellow player, both players researching whatever the heck this upgrade is. And uh, auto turret going down. For Billy Bob, this is not your your normal auto turret. This is a permanent railgun turret. Uh, it's a very powerful anti-ground anti Gatling gun. So um, these guys are going to want to take large chunks of the map. Bob and getting proxy refineries? Question mark? Now you'll notice uh, this peace time is going to expire in 14 seconds, but we're not going to really see an attack from either player. We may see some scouting from our Novas. Um, Proto asking, do all these players actually know every commander? Am I in trouble? Well, I don't know, dude. After a year of play, or uh, like several years of playing co-op casually, I have like seven of them to level 15, and I'm working on Abathur, and then I've played like two more. So I don't know. It's got to be like 50 bucks, right? Yeah, both these guys getting automated gas. Guild one pointing out in the chat. I do have stream delay on, so this is going to be a little bit delayed. Um, both players going for your standard ground weapons, ground, well, okay, ground weapons and ground armor going on for Billy Bob, uh, just weapons for Vavin. Ooh, looks like Vavin's gonna strike first, taking out the railgun turret with his cloak Nova. He's gonna start sniping marines. Now, heroes are allowed. They absolutely are allowed. Call downs from the top bar are not allowed. Oh my god. Drops Marauders, but. Oh! Oh! Nova snipes Nova! This is like. This is like when, um. That Spider Man meme from, like, the 70s TV show where they're pointing at each other and it's like, you, no, you. But then one of them pulls out a sniper rifle and just takes the other one and just turns him into a splat and it's like, I, there can be only one. We got a defensive drone. It'll shoot out little lasers if anything wanders underneath it. Yeah, what do you do against these hero characters with your infantry? These marines are expensive, man. Oh my god, the shotgun blast. This didn't cost Billy Bob anything. This is a zero cost to Billy Bob. But we saw in the last game, Vavin seems to have uh, his macro a little bit more on point than Billy Bob. Billy Bob not constantly pr uh, producing SCVs, kind of getting that gimmick expand up to the left. Um, I See, why grab the gases here? Maybe, maybe Vavin's trying like a high IQ play. It's like, okay... If we extend the game to the point where you have to take a fourth, you're not going to have any gas left there. Um, 
I, I think that's actually the answer, because why not just take these refineries or these refineries down here? If we're gonna do that. It feels a lot safer to me. Oh my god. So this thing's gonna explode and kill everything in the radius, I think. Yeah. Only got two SCVs. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so fucking brutal! Oh my god! No! No, Bo, please! <laughs> it's okay, she's back, guys. Oh my god! It's just the way, like... That's way too human. Like, I usually think of the Terrans as plastic toys because they're in these mech suits, right? You don't- they're prisoners and they're, like, attached and they're kind of hicks. But this is Nova we're talking about. Like, she- she's, like, actually a person, you know what I mean? Holy crap. He asked it in all chat. I'm gonna go with yeah. Oh my god. I mean, I don't. He could have whispered me. You just have to go slash W Renegade X. Is this a weird flex? Another sabotage drone is. Uh, should delay this command center. Yeah, it's gonna delay the command center. There's nothing the Lee Bob can. Both these guys need protection, man. Oh. <clears throat> it's a katana clone. It's just chopping up SCVs, man. Oh my god. It's so powerful. Nova can't even kill the katana clone. It's not real, Nova. No. The hologram. A very powerful hologram. She finally takes it down. How many kills? You can't select it. It's not a real unit. But Boy, did it deal damage like one. I was like an ultra DT. Billy Bob pushing forward with a cadre of Marine Marauder, Raven in the air. Bobbin's been put on the defensive this game, but he's also sneaking a hit squad of four Marines. Uh, I think he's just checking for other bases of Billy Bob. I heard a nuke. Okay. It didn't really do much of anything, as far as I'm aware. Raven called down. Support these guys. Provide vision. Our Nova's kind of derping around. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. Bobbin's got to rally a defense real quick. He doesn't have anything. It's six army supply to 24. Nova's going to respawn pretty... <clears throat> pretty slowly here. I think it costs minerals to speed that up. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. There's just nothing here to defend for Vavin. Second CC is going to go down. Nova's respawned. Snipes down a Marauder, but there's so much more where that came from. Nova gets sniped down again, and it looks like we're going to uh, game number three here. <laughs> so stupid, man. In the bottom left, spawning in as Han and Horner this time. It's Vavin. And in the top right, 
as Alarak. It's Billy Bob. Can see him coming. Billy Bob, I think, wasting a lot of mining time by rallying these probes early. Um, maybe not that confident in his macro cycles, just uh, making absolutely sure he has that gas. Gateway opener for Alarak. Bobbin is setting up some mines, uh, getting up an engineering bay. <laughs> engineering bay opener. Um, Minion starport here, of course, and the first assault galleon moving out. Ooh! Using this for vision to place some uh, awkward mines toward the mid map. And this is kind of a risk because Vobin could take alternate pathways, uh, most likely to come down. Well, he is most likely to come down here, but could just as well come up this uh, choke point. <clears throat> There is still a minute before Bobbin can attack, and we don't have to worry about that. The game will enforce that. So Bobbin, with his scouting assault dot galleon, has revealed his race uh, as he scouts the Alarak of Billy Bob. There he is. He's hungry for some supplicants, man. Ooh. What a chad, dude. Oh my god, that's so badass. This is gonna be a cool match, I think. Okay, so the Assault Galleon dropping Reapers. We're past the three-minute mark. This is totally valid. Reaper's going to jump into the main. Alarak down to half shield. Uh, Sentry and a Slayer is going to be morphed in. Assault Galleon down to half health. Alarak shooting laser beams all over the place. It's going to continue to play the bullet hell game. Hey, you're very welcome, Gamefront Germany. It's uh, courtesy mostly of Kilo Kilo and Gildalin for putting this together. Dude, look how like well made that animation is. It's so good. So, yeah, the Assault Galleon putting in decent damage, but Alarak, cool. Oh, Bobbin trying to drop a ship on him. Billy Bob, wise to these tactics, backs out of the explosion radius. Alarak crackling with energy. Alarak can eat these supplicants uh, in order to gain power. See if that occurs. Couple more assault galleons under construction. Oh, Billy Bob with some miss micro loses the bulk of his army. Alarak is very powerful in his own right and is cutting down SCVs left and right. Takes out one of the assault galleons and is chewing down the command center. But here comes the orbital strikes, and Alarak all of a sudden is no longer of this world. We can't back out far enough to see them, but 
They're there, trust me. They're, uh, they're just, you know, they're, they're right there. Overcharged Nexus kills the rates. Uh, some of this feels like, if you've ever seen, um, nice underscore username, Joey's, uh, YouTube channel, like, how it looks versus how it feels. Okay, so Vavin is just building a couple units at a time. Uh, he has a large gas bank, so... Hopefully he can translate that into something, because right now he's just, like, dropping a Widow Mine. He still has this kind of siege going on outside of Billy Bob's base. He's going to jump into the main. Some souped-up Hellbats. They have a special name. No, nope, they're just Hellbats. Are going to try and go in here. Nexus Overcharge is holding down the fort, though. Oh my god, that's powerful. The Wraith's going to come in, though, and uh, seems to be un perturbed. It's racking up the kills. It will actually kill everything here if it's uh, left unchecked. Hellion slides by. Alarak trying to push in here. Backed up by a bunch of slayers. gets a nice wave off but these reapers will heal very quickly if they're not damaged again soon and some mines are dropped to prevent alarak from doing that good play from bob in here billy bob's still stuck on one base he's gonna want to expand soon these mineral patches are gonna run out literally on screen alarak dives in uh, most of the mines connect, but only two stalkers left to back him up. Alarak being an absolute unit, and he will take down this command center, I think. The Reapers are stunned. They can't do anything. The command center falls. Bobbin now knocked down to one base. Billy Bob, I think, really focusing on his micro here, and it did pay off. It's impossible to kill him. Nice. And he drops the ship on him. I mean, that, that comment did not age poorly, or uh, did not age well. So, um, the issue Bobbin is going to have is he cannot call down the ship in Billy Bob's main or natural. So he has to break this using sheer units. Um, and he has to do so while Alarak is down, I think, because, yeah, he just hasn't gotten up the macro to really engage the Protoss army. I think this is a glitch? It's unclear. Oh... Uh... Who called in the fleet? Alright. That's one shot it again. And the uh I, I guess this isn't the Golden Armada. What is this? It's the Taldarim Air Force? I don't that's lame. It's the Space Force. Yeah, it's the Space Force. That's edgy. Bob and I think, like. I, mean, I don't think it was a terrible idea to try and contain Billy Bob, but he needed to macro much better behind it. Like, he should probably have three or four bases at this point. And, uh, yes, he did lose his natural, but he should have had a third at the time his natural was picked off at the very least. Billy Bob, though, not 
not doing much better. He's um, he's running low in the main now. Another mineral patch is going to mine out in the next uh, few seconds. He really needs that second Nexus, man. I can understand not taking a third, but... The Death Fleet. Thank you, Game Front Germany. An overcharged pylon. What is this, Heart of the Swarm? It's gonna hold on. Bon, I think, is very tilted. Oh my god. The laser missiles all miss. Alarak comes in. He's gonna swipe down the command center again. And I think Billy Bob has enough. No way to win this matchup, in my opinion! In the bottom left, as the pink ta- or oh my god. As the pink Tychus spawning Billy Ray's bar. It's the Grandmaster RNG Pro Zerg player prototype. And in the top right, spawning in his Rainer, it's the Teal Terran. Billy Bob. Billy Bob rolling Rainer twice so far. Uh, see how he does. I don't know how much co-op commander's uh, prototype plays, but... Hmm. Hmm. So the gunslinger's hideout under- Ooh, cancel. Okay. Neither player's scouting. Uh, Proto asking, how do I know what you are? But he's not scouting. It, I mean, even if you can't figure out- Like, you- I, I'm pretty sure it just shows up when you mouse over your opponent's buildings or units like like we're seeing now um proto starting up second command center Proto. Grabbing a ninja base. This is the second time we've seen this uh, in the tournament so far. Look at Tychus go. Ooh -wee. Um, It looks like Proto wants to start attacking as soon as the uh, timer expires. Now, Billy Bob has gotten two racks on the field. He's going to be able to drop pod marines, but I don't think two marines are going to be able to deal with this. I think Prototype might just tear a hole into Billy Bob. Factory follow-up. Two racks factory into a third racks. One one started. Billy Bob really focusing on tech here. But 307. Proto goes up the ramp, and there's just nothing. Oh, you know what? He's gonna use the call down stiff. Ooh! The Banshees aren't fighting! The Banshees aren't fighting! The entire SCV line gets absolutely murked. Tychus gets murked himself. That was entirely preventable from Billy Bob, but, uh... The Banshee pilots, I guess, were scared? They... They retired something, and now they're not suiciding across the map. They could have been at the natural uh, very soon. Crooked <laughs> Sam gets Hyperions. Um, unfortunately, Billy Bob cannot teleport the Hyperion into the nat or the main of his opponent. I don't think uh, because it is a top bar calldown. But at least scouting. I mean, this base is totally vulnerable here for Prototype. And while we have, you know, the irony of being omniscient observers and Billy Bob does not, like, oh, 
Rip. He killed. He killed the Arubu. Aw. Alexa, this is so sad. Play Despacito. Hyperion. Gets the heck out of there. Crooked Sam's back in action. So, Tychus is a hero-based character. He he recruits his cadre of outlaws, and they uh, go forth and do battle with the opposing team. Billy Bob, not macroing great. Prototype, already on three base. Tychus, ready to go again. Billy Bob with one Marine to defend. It's not going to be enough, and now his calldowns are on cooldown. I think this is going to be a quick and dirty win from Prototype. Wait! No, the Banshees were off cooldown. Unfortunately, there's no way to see that. But Billy Bob is still going to call GG. Prototype. In the bottom left of Pillars of Gold as the pink Protoss from RNG Pro, spawning in as Phoenix, its prototype. And in the top right, as Minsk, its Billy Bob. Man, there are a lot of Terran co-op commanders, huh? Oh my god, dude. Wait, these guys have to walk with the mech suit on their back? Dude, their backs have to be broken. Do they have any, like, enhancements? It doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe a little. These look like people. I don't think these are robots. It's messed up, dude. Oh, there's tiny barracks? Wait, why are the bunkers so tiny? Supply bunker. Oh, because they don't get to live in houses. They have to live in bunkers, huh? Wait a minute. Wait, am I... Why is he two different colors? Am I missing something? Uh, anyway, Phoenix can call in uh, constructs, which are powerful heroes. They're they're just powerful versions of Protoss units, basically. Um, through his purifier program, it's channeling AIs, basically. How should I put this? Um, so he selects the the husk and he channels the AI of a hero into it. Phoenix, of course, the legendary brood war hero. The villainous Arcturus Minsk. Utilizing his populace. Telling people to belay that order. Belay that order, soldier. We can't leave. Sarah's still down there. Or eventually being executed by Tychus. And... Sarah Kerrigan. And Raynor. During the invasion of Korhal. So, Earth Splitter Ordnance, I'm guessing, is a big-ass cannon. Uh, one would assume. I have not played him. This is one of the few co-op commanders I have not played at all. I I have a level 15 Phoenix, so... Uh, quite... Quite the larger knowledge base there. Okay. Probe scouts this. Phoenix found the Earth Splitter Ordnance. Why isn't this thing firing, dude? Oh my god. Okay. I'm guessing this is, like, immensely expensive. It's just firing at random. Maybe a misclick from Billy Bob? The minion troopers. They're not even space marines. These are like the ODSTs, dude. 
They're gonna die by the hundreds, I feel. To the robot, Protoss. Oh god, here he comes. He's gonna walk right up the ramp. Are there enough troopers here? The answer's no. That's a resounding no. That's GG. This game's over. Holy shnikes. And there's one of our AIs we were talking about. This is a hero carrier. Uh, there's pretty much nothing Billy Bob can do at this point, I think. He's trying. You know what? These bunkers seem to be putting in work. Phoenix almost out of shields, but here come the interceptors. One bunker targeted down. Phoenix loses the shields, but he's just going to switch into his Dragoon form. GG is called. And Billy Bob wishing his opponent luck. Proto in the top right of Ever Dream. Spawning in as Zeratul, it's Spy from Team Exxon, and in the bottom left from RNG Pro, welcome back once again, Prototype, rockin' the Edgelord Alarak. Look at that shade of red, look at the red. It's going to be a battle of heroes in this PvP. Spy getting ready to take a second Nexus, Proto. I think is trying to do a standard Protoss versus Protoss opener, but he didn't scout. Oh, you know what? He didn't need the scout. That's right. You can just hit the diplomacy tab, uh, and it tells you your opponent's co-op commander. So, if I recall correctly, Zeratul usually like is given artifacts around the map to hunt down uh, in the normal co-op. Thing and it makes them more powerful. Um, I wonder how that translates into our match here. Like, will it spawn artifacts on the map? I'm not seeing anything. Yeah. Huh. Maybe after he spawns? So, automatic extractors from Spy, Proto having to make a few extra probes. Ooh, Spy getting the first stalker kill, the Alarak waiting at the top of the ramp to meet these guys. Uh, it appears Spy is going for a rush. Oh, there are artifacts. It totally does spawn artifacts. Look at that. Oh my god, the Blink Soccer Micro. Zeratul getting in his Void Ship uh, isn't detected, so 
the Nexus Overcharge not doing much. GG is called Spy takes. Am I right up top? Okay. In the top right with one point on the board. In this best of three semifinal from Team Exxon and Spy. And in the bottom left from RNG Pro. Speak of the devil. Spawning in a Zagara, its prototype. Spy getting zero tool twice in a row. Will Zagara fare better than Alarak? Uh, so if you've ever played Zagara in Heroes of the Storm, she functions very similarly. In StarCraft 2. These drones remind me of fish. I guess they're supposed to be crabs to begin with, right? Patch gas pool from Proto. Spy is probably gonna stock a rush with Zero Tool again, would be my assumption. Proto. Uh, yeah, so um, something to note here is that Proto's main race is Zerg. He is a very, very, very skilled Zerg, one of the best in North America. Um, he's a really smart guy. He's a really nice guy, too. And... He might feel much more at home playing as Zagara than the kind of action we saw with Alarak. Um, like, his, his opener should be impeccable here. Uh, he's skyrocketing up to 30 workers. Spy, getting out some stalkers. He is going to slide out. Prototype did scout this. Um, it's now up to 36 workers. I think it's a gar that hatches these. Yeah, there's more than two links to a pod. And there's more than one drone to a pod. So... That's why Prototype's been able to get up to such a massive economy and uh, double the worker count and spy. Now, he can't afford to lose a lot of these, and he did get supply blocked very briefly. Um, but this is so many Zerglings that this time he will hold, and we're going to have a more macro game on our hands. But Zero Tool takes a shuttle into the main. However, Zagara proving to be a formidable opponent for the Knight of Shakuras. Uh, oh no, but the Spore Caller gets sniped. However, Zagara, despite losing detection, is going to launch Banelings into Zero Tool. However, the shields are recharging quite quickly. Zagara trying to keep that in check. However, the main is lost, and with it, the Morphing Lair. There are two Spores on the low ground. These guys are gonna have to get damage done quickly. Oh my god, the links are chewed through, the spores are chewed through. And, I mean, Prototype just doesn't have an option. Zeratul blinks into the remaining drones. He's gonna take out the hatch. Prototype doesn't have enough money. GG is called. Spy takes the series 2-0 and moves on to... The In the top right corner, dropping off Joey Ray's bar as our Tychus player. It's Spy. And in the bottom left, as Dehaka, it's Full Heart. Both players from Exxon Gaming, I believe. I'm still waiting on my boy Stukov. I want to see a Stukov game before this is over. That's my dream. 
That's my grand hope. So, the drone just kind of fluttering on top of the earth will eventually be, be eaten, I think, right? That's what happens. Oh my god, I can't, I, my camera's glued to the spot until this building finishes. I want to see what happens, dude. Um, yeah, there it is. Buildings are people. Doc is gonna run into the main. I think this is GG, actually. I don't know. Oh, that's right. He can't attack. Minute and a half. Right. So, Doc could... Like, hey there, guys. You can actually find his arm in the campaign. It's an Easter egg. Uh, yeah. So, Tychus getting the muscle armory. Second CC. Tychus himself gonna be spawning out of Joey Ray's bar. I like to imagine, like, he could come out the door at any moment, but he's just, like, sitting there chomping on a cigar. Dude, he's half as tall as the building. How does that work out? Like, get it together, game designers. <laughs> Make things commensurate with the lore. You're breaking the cannon. The Primal Warden gonna reposition himself. Or burrowing back. He looks so cozy, man. Glevig's Den pops its head out. Looks like we're going for two Primal Worms here. From Dahaka. Tyke is moving out with his friend Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake is a Kev. Rattlesnake West, uh, I believe. Is the hell that? The Haka's still very small, so can't do much. This is this timing attack's hitting right at three minutes. The Haka's getting overwhelmed here. I remember so at the start of a tournament, a bunch of people were saying the Haka was gonna be overpowered. We'll see how that shapes out. Right now, he's under siege and it looks like he's gonna die very quickly. He's absorbing as much damage as he can, but Ooh, turns around like he was running away quite effectively, but uh, finding more time for the riches to fire, I guess. The drones are going to burrow. Grenade dropped on drone line. GG is called. The hatch falls. Spy takes game. In the bottom left of Everdream as the blue Zerg. Spawning in is Zagara. It's Spy. And in the top right as Tychus. It's full heart. Spy with the first point on the board in this best of five grand finals. Now, payout of the $100 is 50 to first place, 30 to second, and 20 to third, which is really cool. Um, it's a massive prize pool, considering this is the first tournament of its type. Second CC started for full heart. Again, we're dealing with a hero unit. So what we've seen throughout the tournament is these hero units going in and kind of wrecking everything. Um, and the only thing able to stop a hero unit is another full-powered hero unit that spawns around the three-minute mark. Um, will that happen here with Spy? I don't think so. I don't think Zagara is powerful enough to man mode Full Heart on her own. I think Full Heart uh, might have a couple units on the field that can deal with her. Although he is delaying getting Tychus going instead for Fixer safe house. So maybe not a rush build at all from Full Heart uh, with his hero unit. Zagara going for a Baneling Nest.
player morphing in. I think Spy's worried about a cloak play. It's gonna be Lieutenant Nakara, the medic, backing up Tychus. There we go. Will Spy be prepared? I mean, so far the answer is yes, but Tychus can blow this all up with a grenade. Uh, these links have to close the distance fast. I think Spy's trying to bait the grenade. Yep, there's the bait on the grenade. Bane links roll down the ramp. Hydras pop out of the ground. Zagara DPSing down Tychus before Nakara can get the heals off. Nakara, I totally isolated. Bane links rolling into her. Links chasing her down. Spy, seemingly an unstoppable force in this tournament, is going to finish her off. Those are two, uh units that are going to be immediately replaced by full heart in time to defend but spy with a very powerful force moving out onto the field boom go the lings but hydra pop out of the ground behind tychus the auto turrets holding on tychus escaping to safety but he can't engage here. Now the command center is under fire, and look how quickly the DPS goes out from Zagara. Banelings roll into the mineral line. Kaboom! About a third. The economy of full heart is gone, but Nikara comes to the rescue, enabling Tychus to engage Zagara and kill her off. Now Zagara will have some time uh, to spend in the cocoon, dwell the consequences of her actions and be left alone with her thoughts. Grenade is tossed and it cleans up most of the Zerglings. Banelings roll in here, but a huge flank. This is exactly what you would expect to see from a ZBT engagement. Nakara... Oh, I thought she was going to be DPS down, but Tychus's grenade comes off cooldown, finishes off the Zerglings. Tychus moving forward again. Zagara moving into Aberrations. More links coming down the ramp. Nakara drops a flash heal. These guys are going to be buffed for a little while, but Nakara's down in Tychus. Soon falls. Spy. Takes a second. In the bottom right corner, as the blue Protoss. Playing as Alarak. It's Spy. And in the top left, as the red Protoss. Also playing as Alarak, it's full heart. Okay, well, here we have an important match. Uh, Spy currently up to 2 0 oh, against full heart. Pulling back an intense engagement against Tychus uh, as full heart tried to rush him down in the previous game. This time, no one can blame RNG, no one can blame OPness. It's going to be. One Taldarine boy against another Taldarine boy. Already seeing diverging builds. Full heart opening with a gateway on the low ground. Spy appears to be going Nexus first. Hard drops his own nexus, so I uh, I'm not really sure. What either of these two players game plans are at the outset. Um, both players just probing. Spy. Goes into cyber. Full heart goes into cyber. Ok, 
Okay, full heart drops a proxy pylon. Spy drops a proxy pylon. Things are getting interesting. Proxy robo from Spy. Oh, man. Well, okay. Uh, an interesting thing. So normally we would say, yeah, pro proxy robo, very powerful. You know, very hard to hold, even with shield batteries. Shield batteries, I don't think, affect proxy robo too much uh, anymore. And Spy going to be the aggressor. However... We have these hero units out onto the field, Full Heart rushing his Alarak uh, across the map. Spy doing likewise. These guys are on a collision course. Oops, hit spacebar on accident. There we go. Two supplicants to back up Full Heart, get their volleys off. And it looks like. Full Heart's Alarak was winning the battle to start with, but he's outmaneuvered by Spy. Spy going to go on the attack, and his Robo is allowed to finish. Uh, I think Full Heart needed to luck out, find the proxy Robo, and take it down with his Alarak, but is unable to. Alarak zooms in. Pylon overcharge. Takes him down. Another pylon overcharge. Going to take out the fighting supplicants. I mean, these supplicants are trash units. They are not good. Um, Full heart. Not going to be able to take out the proxy with just those alone. His Alarak has respawned, and uh, Spy's Alarak is much farther away. He should be able to man mode this immortal supplicants. Um, but. He's gonna have to fight the pylon. This is invincible, I think. Yeah, no, it's an invincible pylon. Ah, uh, he he backs out as the overcharge wears off. Okay. Alarax sitting next to the Nexus gathering the energies of the void. But Spy sending his own hero unit back out. Um, getting ready to launch the proxy robo assault. Full heart needs to go out and finish this off now! Oh no, fool heart, you fool! There's money on the line here, and fool heart not having the killer instinct to go finish off the proxy as soon as the overcharge wore off. Spy is going to push in here with a very powerful army. I don't know that fool heart's going to survive this attack. He's fighting for dear life. Fool heart's Alarak on the retreat. Spies Alarak chasing him down. Spies Alarak out of shields, but he gets into the mineral line. I mean, the cyber core overcharge actually managing to take him down. Full heart holds, but he's now down 16 workers. Now a Colossi, a weird Colossi, pops out of the proxy robo. A Wrath Walker. Okay. Two Wrath Walkers now. Both players doing a cool job of eating their supplicants for healing and such. Our Ascendants launching spells. Uh, trying to take out the mobs. By still holding out his proxy, I mean, uh, Full Heart is very quickly catching up in probes. Spy not producing anymore, not taking, thinking about taking a third or these uh, other two gases. Just focused on taking Full Heart down with the proxy. Here comes the Wrath Fleet of both players. It's an intense battle of motherships. Minus 400, 400, minus 400, 400. It looks like Coolheart's Armada is going to evaporate. 
first. Spy still has plenty to push in with, but the Cybercore Overcharge is going to hold once again here for Full Heart. I don't think it's going to be enough to deter Spy for much longer. These Alarak fights are at least top 20 anime battles of history, man. They're so cool to watch. It's like this is the coolest unit interaction in StarCraft 2 right now. It's just Alarak versus Alarak. Okay, Spy has a lot here, but Full Heart has the Nexus Overcharge. He's going to hold another wave of Assault. Doing a good job of eating the Supplicants, regaining his health. Spy's Supplicants are looking a little low. And yeah, Spy needs to regroup here. He's going to get broadsided before he can bring forward the reinforcements. Alarak kind of caught out. Bullheart still down seven workers. Oh no, Alarak evaporates his army. GG is called. Spy takes the grand finals uh, in 50 US dollars in 3 0 fashion. Hey, I, uh, I had a lot of fun here, guys. I really hope you did too. If you enjoyed the casting, please drop a follow. Um, yeah, no, this was an absolute blast, and um, I hope we do it again sometime. Congratulations to our top three taking home the grand prize. Uh, Spy going to take home the 50, full heart the 30. Don't know who won the third place match. Maybe um, Gildwin can drop that score in the chat um, for that third place prize. Uh, I'm going to find someone wholesome to raid. Make sure you check out the Macharino, exclamation Macharino in the chat. I'll see you guys in the next one. Born from the ashes. 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 Born from the ashes.